Hi, this is Bradley Austin, and this is my single player map for Year 1 Semester 2, Necroft. I have kept my map in the Unreal Universe, yet tried to make it different to our Unreal Tournament. The level is quite long, about 10 to 15 minutes. I'll start with a playthrough and then outline anything else. Jacob? Got you, mission. This is the Necris homeworld, Omicron 6. We're hidden just out of range. As you probably know, Thundercrash isn't doing too well right now. We need to enter the next tournament. But for that, we need money. Malcolm has a deal with the Izanagi Corporation. They have a few missions for us, and I'm paying very I've picked you for this next one. The Necris have a research base codenamed Necroth, a series of ancient tombs and chambers which have been transformed into advanced research labs. Some of the original chambers still remain, but we're told the labs are deep underground. Your mission is to get into these labs. You need to get to their core systems and upload their data, a virus supplied by the Izanami. It should cripple their systems and allow the data to be transferred off planet. I don't know what they plan to do, but that's not our concern. Anything else I should know? I can tell you more on the way. All right. I'll drop you myself. I'll be waiting in the hangar. Meet me there when you're ready to leave. So the player character is Riker, and he is introduced on the Thunder Crash's team ship, along with Jacob, his superior. The player is given his mission and then control of their character to walk about the bridge. To add some extra gameplay, there are a few interaction points on the bridge. Your objectives, and the currently locked secret area. However, we lost contact with them a few hours ago. Don't bother looking for them. The one lead we have is a Necris blade maiden, Malay. It looks like she is the head researcher of Necris. Try to follow her to the central system, so though she will not take kindly to you. What should I do with her? Hmm. That's up to you. It is not specified in the mission. Use your initiative. Right, okay. So now Riker has landed on Omicron 6 above the Necris research base. This area is to give some scope to the alien world. I teleport the player back up, as killing them right at the start of the mission would be quite annoying. The first room encountered is one of the old chambers. I've used custom music events to add tension at certain points. Here is my custom emitter. The player uses the E key a lot in the level. This introduces them to this custom made mesh being usable, as players didn't realise this during playtesting. The sound effects and meshes used also add to this alien feel. These lights allow the player to see just how fast and deep they are going underground. This small sequence allows the player a glimpse of the enemy NPC, Malaise, before continuing deeper. I'm guessing that's the Necris Blade, maybe.
Hey, is that one of the agents? The player will spend quite some time in this chamber. The first thing brought to their attention is one of the missing agents who drops a flashlight. You dead? Huh? Yeah. Well, I guess so. Well, I'll be taking this. The flashlight I have made by attaching a movable spotlight and a trigger to the player. It is activated by pressing E twice quickly. I have tried to stay away from the UT gameplay in these first sections, starting the player without a weapon. These parts are very puzzle based. That was interesting. In the first room, five cogs must be found in the dark and replaced in order to open the door to the button. The cogs are a custom model with a texture created in Photoshop. The player discovers there must be four pedestals to activate, and therefore, four puzzle rooms. In the second room, the player instantly sees the switch which activates the next pedestal, however they must follow it through a series of traps. The third room appears easy and the player activates the pedestal right away. However they must solve a small puzzle to escape the room. The wheel mesh is also a custom 3D Max model. Perhaps quite obvious, when this next switch is used, the large physics ball rolls towards the player, attached to a dynamic kill volume. <laughs> 